What's up, Raging Nation? How y'all doing? This is Alex. You watching the Raging Ron review? Got a review for you. Last Thursday, I saw Elysium. Elysium is the new movie from District Nine director Neil Blomkamp. And when I heard that Neil Blomkamp was directing a new science fiction movie, I was all over that. Totally excited because I absolutely loved and enjoyed District Nine. I thought that District Nine was a movie that had a great um, story, a very thought-provoking story, and also it had a very profound message. And to top things off, a lot of really really cool action and it was a really cool and original concept so I absolutely loved it and I totally respected Neil Blomkamp for making a science fiction movie that I felt in some ways was kind of artistic and also he didn't hold back he didn't have a movie watered down for the audiences it was a hard R rating that was very very violent and he wasn't afraid to make a movie like that and it's no different with Elysium this is another R rated science fiction action movie and and this is something that is uh, very different from District 9, I gotta, I'll tell you that. All right, um, Elysium is a movie starring Matt Damon, Jodie Foster, Alice Braga, and Charlotte Copley. Charlotte Copley was the main lead in District 9. Uh, in this uh, movie, he's playing uh, one of the main antagonists. Anyways, with regards to the story, the story is about uh, Matt Damon's character. He has something happen to him, okay? gets exposed to radiation, then he only has five days to live. And what he has to do to fix himself up is he got to go to Elysium. Elysium is a ring planet, okay? If you know Halo, if you, you've played Halo, the, the video game for Xbox, then you know what a ring planet consists of. That's what Elysium is. Elysium is a ring planet, which is really, really cool, okay? There's no war, there's no poverty, there's no diseases, there's no illness or sickness. And even if you do have any kind of sickness, they have these machines that can instantly cure you. And that's exactly why Matt Damon needs to make his way from Earth to Elysium, okay? Earth is completely just, just crowded and war-torn and just kind of poverty-stricken, all right? But Elysium is the complete opposite. But the main reason why he wants to go there is to cure himself so he can live again, all right? Because he's dying. But the problem is that Jodie Foster, who controls Elysium, he watches out for who tries to make their way uh, to Elysium, such as refugees. You know what she does? She gets their ships shot down. So Matt Damon doesn't want that happening to him. Uh, so she's kind of like the, the the warden in Shawshank Redemption, okay? She prevents, uh, you know, uh, bad things from happening to the place, okay? Or she's a, she lays down a smackdown, okay? Anyways, so... In some ways, this story can be kind of considered original, but I think that I've seen this kind of concept before, and I don't mind that it's it's like um, not exactly an original story. I think it's a great story. I think it's a story that, um, even though I've seen this kind of story before, I still think it's um, a story that is uh, uh, not a bad story, okay? So, anyways, very, very decent story. Uh, with regards to the characters, I think Charlotte Copley is the man. Okay, he is the one that really keeps you interested because he's a very scary antagonist and a completely uh, a, a different character than he played from District 9. In fact, I really respect Shalto Copley after seeing him in Elysium because he's such a, he, he really portrayed himself as a very versatile actor. Okay, we've seen him be a little crazy in the A-Team. We've seen him play, uh, 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 you know, uh, an innocent kind of a... Um, uh, uh, um, character who is trying to seek some sort of redemption in District 9 and in this one he plays one of the most ruthless villains I've ever seen on screen and he's he's really scary and and physically able he he, he does a lot of stunts in this one so really really cool really really um uh, cool to watch him on screen now with regards to this movie it was marketed as um, in my opinion an intense science fiction action film okay Unfortunately, I had some pretty high expectations because this is coming from District 9 director Neil Blomkamp, okay? I gave, uh, the, I gave uh, District 9 a pretty high score, so I have a lot of high expectations for Elysium. And one thing I got to tell you about the action in Elysium is that, um, well, it's like this. Imagine watching Rage and Rona Review, but the, con the camera is constantly doing this. So that's what's going on when, you, when we get to an action sequence in Elysium. I have no idea why, but when they film action sequences, they're constantly shaking the camera. And this is one of my biggest complaints because <laughs> like you have like cool set pieces, you have like the costumes, you have the props, and you have a, a really sweet concept. 
but when all the action takes place, the camera is constantly shaking, and I'm okay with handheld camera work. I'm okay with shaky camera work, but I'm what I'm not okay with is when the the camera shakes for no apparent purpose. It serves no purpose at all except to really just piss off the audience because it was completely irritating and really really annoying because I really really wanted to see what the hell is going on and I really wanted to enjoy this movie in its entirety, but I can't because the, the, the director of photography felt it was a great idea, or the director rather felt it was a great idea to have a lot and a lot of camera shake. So this is a huge, huge letdown for me because they staged a lot of really intricate uh, set pieces, action set pieces, but they, they couldn't really deliver it on a visual level to its full entirety. That's really unfortunate and it's a big letdown for me. Uh, and, and I think that it's a huge shame just because there is no need for it. Like, I really don't mind handheld camera work. I've seen handheld camera work done really well, and it creates for a very specific type of atmosphere which really brings the audience into the movie. It brings us in the view of the, the protagonist when they're going through all, some kinds of chaos, right? But this was just done in a very, very poor and, and very, very unartistic way, okay? They didn't do a very good job with that, and it didn't look good at all. Okay, so that's my first complaint. Second complaint is that for a movie that's called Elysium, Elysium that uh, represents the, the ring planet, we only see, what, maybe five minutes of actual Elysium, okay? Elysium is, re is, is represented as a very, um, uh, uh, very beautiful looking planet with, with, with great cinematography if, got, if we, we had the chance to see, see it in its like, cinematic scope. But we see so little of it that, once again, this is another letdown. Okay, because I was hoping to see more and more outdoor scenes of Elysium and see how, how grand it really is. But when they're on Elysium, you don't even see a whole lot of outdoor scenes. What, you, what we see is actually just um, uh, indoor scenes where they're in, in, in the space station or in, when they're in some kind of, uh, um, I don't know, some kind of base or headquarters. So there's just a lot of indoor scenes and we don't really feel like we're even in Elysium. We just feel like we're in some, some, some kind of a station. All right, so that's really unfortunate. I wanted to see more of Elysium. The movie's called Elysium. Bring us to Elysium. All right. Uh, I mean, Matt Damon wants to go there so bad, so I didn't feel like it was any different than they were, when they were on Earth. All right. And the other, the other third complaint, my third and final complaint about this movie was that um, I felt that um, <laughs> it has to do with the ending. Um, let's just say that I was hoping more for. Um, for a, a, a more profound ending, okay? It felt really Hollywood. District 9 did not feel like your standard Hollywood fare. It felt like a director who was allowing his artistic freedoms to just, just um, you know, like throw them out there. You know, he was able to exercise his, his, his artistic freedom. But Elysium felt totally, ho totally Hollywood and it felt like it had your standard Hollywood ending. And I did not... Um, I did not I did not appreciate that. I wish they could have done more with the ending. I wish they could have brought us um, a, a more clear message about what the what is the the this the pro big profound message about having Earth and having Elysium in two separate places. I think they could have done a lot more with that in, in bringing us a message. I know you know it, it's just a movie and it's meant to entertain, but this is coming from um, a director which told us a very profound story in his previous film. So I had some higher expectations and unfortunately I think that they weren't met. I still felt in some ways entertained. I thought that this movie had some great characters. I also think it has a great story. It does have a great story. Uh, and these are all the things that make up a good movie. But unfortunately when you, 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 you market the movie as an um, as intense science fiction action movie, we expect to see uh, the movie to to deliver in some ways like in uh, in the in the in the action and visual aspect of the film all right and it did deliver in, in the way that I expected so that's really unfortunate um, I enjoyed it for what it was or what it is uh, but um, at the end of the day I'm gonna have to give it a 6.75 out of 10 not quite a 7 a 6.75 out of 10 is what I give it and um, what do you guys think what do you guys think about the movie if you guys saw it um, I thought that um, the shaky camera work was the worst part about this movie and it could have been done a lot better, okay? It's a bit of a shame. 
Anyways, there you have it. That's all I got to say about this movie. As always, if you enjoyed this review, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation, and also follow me on Twitter, at Raging Nation. Stay tuned for my next review. The next review will be for Kick-Ass 2. All right, really looking forward to that because I enjoyed the first one, all right? My name is Alexi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Uh, of course, Avengers 3, Ant-Man. So I think that's just about right. I think that's about enough to keep them busy all the way up till 2021. Maybe there's a couple